you do you have an opinion on whether Cody maybe should have been given the title? Uh, there's a lot of people that have said, uh, oh, let the story play out, you know, um, and uh, and I usually am one of those people. Right, right. But uh, I will say this. <laughs> SummerSlam 1993, uh, aside from Brett, well, he the hottest new baby face in your territory was Lex Luger. This whole campaign about you know going on the Lex Express, slamming Yokozuna, astute, yeah, yeah, and he won by countout. Right. And imagine if people would have said, "Well, it's SummerSlam, WrestleMania 10's around the corner. Let the story play out." What we did, we let the story play out, and uh, letting that story play out, it killed Lex Luger. And um, so, and then and then I saw other people. Um, you know, who said that, uh, that Cody had to overcome, uh, had to overcome more adversity. He tore his peck. He tore his peck. <laughs> and thousands of people in the arena saw it. I'm sure hundreds of thousands saw it on the pay-per-view. Um, I don't know. And, and you know, I don't know if you can overcome any more adversity than that. And on top of that, if we only want to keep it storyline driven, just show a one minute package of his prior WWE career and what he had to overcome there. F you know, for God's sake, but before he left, the man was stardust, you know, show how he's Amazing. overcome, made himself into a, a, a main event level star. Uh, and then, and then, um, you know, uh, have him come out on top. It's okay for the, the good guy to win sometimes. And uh, I feel he should have, that's my opinion. Um, I feel he should have won the, the uh, WWE championship. Was it for both belts or for one of them? I don't know. Both belts. Both belts. Okay. I didn't watch the match. Was it good? Did you watch it? Oh, it was good. It was good. But okay. him losing kind of deflated everybody. <laughs> and sure. I was like you. I'm, I'm, I'm often the let the story play out. And I even tweeted it. I said, let the story play out. But then after, th after seeing you guys win, I tweeted, man, I changed my mind. Cody should have won. Because, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because it was just such a beautiful thing. You want to talk about the story of Cody Rhodes. It's the same with your story. He left on his own terms. But what did he do? He wrote that list. I don't know if you remember. He wrote a list. Yeah. He framed it immediately as like, here's what I'm going to do. From this, what a story that is. I don't know how they get to a better story, but I just wanted to get your viewpoint on it. Sometimes it's okay if the fans leave happy, right? Right. It's okay. And like, I, I'm sure a lot of people were saying, oh, well, it was too, uh, it was, it was uh, predictable, predictable. There we go. Thank you. It was too predictable, but that's okay, man. Even, even in matches like that, that's, and we'll get into this later. I think a lot of the wrestlers uh, think, oh, well, if I do this in the point, the match is too predictable. That's okay, dude, because it's okay for the fans to have a preconceived idea of what is coming next. If you can make them, if you can make them just doubt themselves for one second, if you can make them doubt themselves for or doubt what's going to happen for one second, even if it's one second, they're like, oh, you know, if Roman's going for the cover, one, oh my God, he's going to be two, fuck, kick it, oh my God, I can't believe it, ah, right, Cody's right. Gonna, he's going to win. You right. had him for that one second. Same thing in the in just a wrestling match. If you set someone up to the top rope, right for a superplex, I'm just. Talking out of my ass here, but if you set them up the top for a superplex, the fans are you know they they say, oh here comes a big superplex. If you have that whoever, if you have your opponent fight off for a second, and you guys create a small scenario where for a second they're like, oh my god, he's not going. Oh, he's yeah, he's going to. If just just tricking them for one second, you've got them. You don't have to trick them for the you know you don't have to completely switch everything up. Just just make them forget for one second. Then you got him. And that, I think that the story that was built up, the people that were behind Cody, the promos that were cut, he should have been the uh, he should have been at the end of the night, the WWE heavyweight champion.